The Itivuttaka, Section 112, The World. This was said by the Lord, said by the Arahant. So I heard, because the world has been fully understood by the Tathagata. The Tathagata is released from the world. The origin of the world has been fully understood by the Tathagata. The origin of the world has been abandoned by the Tathagata. The cessation of the world has been fully understood by the Tathagata. The cessation of the world has been realized by the Tathagata. The course leading to the cessation of the world has been fully understood by the Tathagata. The course leading to the cessation of the world has been developed by the Tathagata. Because in the world with its devas, maras and brahmas, with its recluses and brahmins, among humankind, with its princes and people, Whatever is seen, heard, sensed, cognized, attained, sought, and reflected upon by the mind, that is fully understood by the Tathagata. Therefore, he is called the Tathagata. Bhikkhus, from the night when the Tathagata awakened to unsurpassed full enlightenment, until the night when he passes away into the Nibbana element with no residue left. Whatever he speaks, utters and explains, all that is just so and not otherwise. Therefore he is called the Tathagata. As the Tathagata says, so he does. As the Tathagata does, so he says. Therefore, he is called the Tathagata. In the world with its devas, maras and brahmas, with its recluses and brahmins, among humankind with its princes and people, the Tathagata is the conqueror, unvanquished, all-seer, wielding power. Therefore, he is called the Tathagata. By knowledge of the whole world, the whole world as it truly is. He is released from all the world. In all the world he is unattached. The all-conquering heroic sage, freed from every bond, is he. He has reached that perfect peace, Nibbana, which is free from fear. Rid of taints, he is enlightened. Trouble free with doubts destroyed, reached the final end of deeds, released by clinging's full destruction. The enlightened one, the Lord, a lion is he, unsurpassed. For in the world, together with its devas, he set the Brahma wheel in motion. Thus, those devas and human beings gone for refuge to the Buddha, on meeting him, pay homage to him, the Great One, free from diffidence. Tamed, of the tamed he is the best. Calmed, of the calmed he is the seer. Freed, of the freed he is the foremost. Crossed, of the crossed he is the chief. Thus do they pay him due homage, the Great One, free from diffidence. In the world, together with its devas, there is no person equaling you. This too is the meaning of what was said by the Lord, so I heard. The book of the Buddha's sayings is now finished.